And time now to check back in on our weather. What a great day it has been for all those who got out and wanted to see the eclipse. And look, it's even cleared up a little bit more out there at the Absolutely. Harbor. Absolutely. Anyone who was outside doing anything today was lucky, weren't they, Steve? Absolutely. You couldn't go wrong if you were just outside doing yard work or working outside or looking at the eclipse. We all won here today. I think most of tomorrow is a winner. And then we have a little roll of the dice in terms of showers and storms coming in here Wednesday and then a slam dunk chance for storms here on Thursday. So let's break it down day by day. So looking ahead to tomorrow, it's a warm day. That's a notable feature. No heavy coats needed for your Tuesday. Some late day showers possible. I'd have everything wrapped up outside by about six o'clock in the evening. A few rounds of showers on Wednesday, but that being said, there's a lot of gaps in the rain, so it won't be raining all day. Thursday, keeping an eye out for some heavy rain, maybe some stronger storms. That would be later in the afternoon or evening hours, so stick a pin on Thursday. And remember, that could be a big weather day. Friday, windy, chilly with showers, and then we should clean the forecast up here for the weekend. Live sweep of the radar, nice and quiet tonight. We need a break from the rain. We've had a lot here, and we won't see any rain here for the this evening or the overnight hours and look at these temperatures much more comfortable than what we've seen recent mornings 51 in Westminster 48 in Parkton tonight 50 in Columbia 49 in Essex 49 in Chestertown let's look at the planner for tomorrow temperatures up into the mid 70s here clouds on the increase but mainly dry until about six seven o'clock in the evening when some of us will see a shower so let's go into your neighborhoods tomorrow and show you where we're going because we have warm weather all across the area mid 70s here in Hartford County 676 in Bel Air 75 Churchville 77 in Whiteford tomorrow. Howard County, look at these. These numbers approaching nearly 80 degrees. West Friendship 78, Simpsonville 78, Ellicott City 79 tomorrow afternoon. But the Eastern Shore communities will be cooler. So here's a look at our entire viewing area. So 70s, low 70s Eastern Shore, upper 70s up in Cecil County tomorrow for Elkton and Rising Sun, upper 70s here for Northern and Arundel County, but low 70s as you cross the bay bridge over to the eastern shore. Let's talk about rainfall potential. We have a lot of nuisance chances here, so not big significant rain, but enough to require an umbrella here tomorrow evening, Wednesday morning, maybe some heavier storms early on in the morning. A few scattered showers, not a big deal on Wednesday afternoon, and then Thursday later in the day. That's when we could see some heavy, strong storms. So timing it out for you, there's one wave of rain here tomorrow evening that we talked about. Then by Wednesday morning, that rain exiting out of the picture. Maybe a brief shower here on uh, Wednesday afternoon. And then another round of showers and storms coming on in here. It looks like Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday morning, there's some heavier storms for you. And then we'll see another batch of heavy storms coming in here on Thursday afternoon. So let's get to your seven day forecast and spend some time with it. 77 on Tuesday. So in the morning hours, we're going to be looking at temperatures in the 50s. Wednesday, we're looking at 74 degrees, but notice the planner. We could have some clouds and possible showers in there. 68 on Thursday, heavy showers and storms. Rain ends on Friday and a breezy, brighter weekend ahead. Guys. All right. Thank you, Steve.